Thank you for coming here tonight. I'm going to have you bring it down. Um, I'm, I'm here to announce uh, the first talk uh, of Omnic. Uh, Omnic and Tanya, our guests, are tonight, and Omnic's on her own tomorrow night. Uh, they shifted it up a little bit. So Omnic's going to be uh, speaking alone tomorrow night and Saturday night. But tonight, Anya is going to be sharing her experience. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. This is, this is a, a, let's respect the, the room here, keep it quiet. Omnic is, uh, we, we, the microphone's a little soft, so please uh, listen to every word. Uh, hopefully you can see her. This is Anya Shaver. Yeah, she's a tiny little Venusian. So you're going to see, um, Omnic has been with Omnic for a very long time, her best friend, her greatest I'm promoter. Right. What? So ladies and gentlemen, Anya Schaefer and Anya. Okay, you guys are now one. <laughs> Can you put the chair on the other side? Yeah, I'm going to put my water down on this side. You want the chair on that side? Water. Yeah, I can't reach on the left side. Actually, this is really on next evening. I'm just assisting her. I just prepared a little presentation because we wanted to start this first evening. Omnic is going to speak on three evenings, as you may know. And if not, I'm now saying so that she will be speaking now and tomorrow evening at 8. And on Saturday evening, a last time at 8. So, and I prepared a little bit of uh, presentation, some presentations for her, and this is what we have been going through in the last days. So tonight it's, um, um, so she will talk about whatever she wants to. Part of it now is her story, her life story, how she came to Earth and who she is, and so the basics, yeah. And uh, tomorrow <coughs> is going to be around, um, we, she will deal mostly about um, with, about the transformation of the Earth process, and so I prepared another <coughs> second presentation. Um, but it's it's her show, so I'm just trying to assist her uh, to the best of my ability. And um, if she needs my support, I will explain something further. But basically, it's it's not me, not but her. Now. It's, so it's a show about Omni, Omni and Anya. It's comedy routine. <laughs> Omnic and Omnic and Anya and Anya. And tomorrow yes. I bring my horn. Omnic, and I bring Anya, my horn Anya. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And she has a horn. So. <laughs> an air horn. And we're going to have it. If, if one of you makes a mistake in what you say, I mean, people up here, I blow it. <laughs> a booper. Can you hear her well enough? Is it, is it okay in the back? Yes. I know. Okay. Some of you can't see me, but you see me today. So you just let me know if I show, uh, show yeah. something. Other than that, I will just Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to give you about 10 minutes of my time because I'm tired. And then I will tell you how I feel about you. And I spent lots of time with many of you today. And if you don't you know me before, you know me now. Yes. But really, you're all my soul family. And I know you only as soul. When I look out over the audience, all I can see is shining crystals of soul. And each one is individual and unique. And the facets of that jewel is all of your experiences. So no two can be the same. That's how beautiful you are. And I just want to share time. And I share so much time with people today. I was really busy hugging and smoking. Taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, taking pictures. We had rotor sessions all day. And, but I'm tired because it's quite late. And I want to tell you that I love you. I'm always with you. Because soul is eternal. And no matter what life span I knew you in, I know you and you're part of my soul family. And thank you for coming. And I hope to see more of you, and I hope to get hugs from more. 
I love you, and I'm just gonna, what? That's it? Yep. And then she's showing a video of me and her. Where were we speaking at? What? In the video. We were together, where was it? Do you remember? You only wanted to show that? Yeah. Not the other stuff? No. Only yeah. And we, her and I had a lecture in Germany somewhere, and when they first came there, and my hair was turned a little bit shorter, and Anya, when she first started translating, I would, I was always speaking slow and pausing for her, and one time, <laughs> she's just looking at me, and I said, Anya, you're supposed to translate. Oh, I forgot, you know why? Because she was so interested in what I said, she couldn't translate. She was just listening. <laughs> but anyway, it was a, such a fun ride a journey. I, I never can relate to anyone what we experienced. We love each other so much on every level. And she was sent here to so people know where I am and what's happening since I wasn't touring anymore. And I'm so happy that I can come here and be with you. Because after the COVID, I was like a prisoner in the house. And we came zombies, you know, doing the same routine. Reading, watching TV, playing with our instrument. Me and my friend, he's like 86 years old, and he has Alzheimer's. We don't know anything about computers. We don't have cell phones. We don't have no electronic gadget. And we just get videotaped and watch tape and watch TV. And of course we sleep and eat, but that's, that's all. And it really, really turns you into a zombie. And you get depressed and you don't have the emotions that you should have when you react to things because you can't feel no more. And it's the saddest thing when you can't be happy and enjoy the things you used to. And when your relatives call, you say, I'm all right. And you weren't. And you want to just finish the conversation and just sit there. And that's the way you feel. So I didn't talk very long to anyone. Long enough to, for them to know I was OK and to not love them. And so you should always say to people who are near you, I love you. That's the last word they hear. So if they go to the grocery store or out the door in the garden, something could happen and they may never see you again. And if you don't say, I love you, you're going to have guilt. You're going to feel bad when they're gone. And you don't want to suffer. And they don't want you to suffer. And you have to remember, don't be attached. That's terrible. Uh, you got to let go of everything and not be fanatic about anything, but stay in harmony and balance. Because if you're fanatic about eating, sex, uh, food, drugs, everything, if you're fanatic, you're not balanced. You must remain balanced within yourself for your own health, because it will hurt you. And if you hold anger, it's also poison for the system. Uh, anger, aggression, Anything like that, it's, it's poisoning a body because it causes cancer and other diseases. And you have to love and let go. And if you can replace judgment with acceptance and judgment with acceptance and <laughs> I forgot my own quote. <laughs> <laughs> judgment with acceptance and uh, no, uh, you replace the judgment. And it, judgment and criticism with love and acceptance. Exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said before. Anya knows your words better than you do. Naturally. See, this is the symbiotic she, relationship here. Yeah, she knows me inside and out. She knows my thoughts, my my feelings, what I'm trying to do. Yeah. She knows it better than I do. Soul connection. And this is my daughter, Toby. Stand up and these people look at you. This is my daughter, Toby. I named her Toby Ellen. What she wants to be called? Toby. T O B I. Her original name was Toby Ellen. T O B E A. But 
Anyway, she's my assistant, and I have two assistants, so, and I have much more, because everybody <laughs> here is my assistant. But, and I appreciate it, because I, I lose my balance easy, because when I had a stroke, I was totally paralyzed on the left side, and I had to learn to speak, to walk, to use my arms, and I was in a neurological clinic in Germany, and they put me through, they really were strict with you. And you had to, after two weeks, you could stay in your room and bring your meals. The second week, you had to get up and go out with the group and eat in the dining room. And they gave you little walkers <coughs> that were just big enough for you, and something you could set things on, but you pushed it and that helped with walking. But I learned, and every day I had arm therapy, speech therapy. Uh, we sat in groups in our wheelchairs and we tossed balls to each other so we could learn to manage to catch a ball. And it was fun, but I had learning. And they walked me around the whole hospital. They had rails you could hold on to and they would help you. And so I learned to walk and they said, we'll give you a wheelchair. I don't want no wheelchair. And when you tell me, we'll get you a wa I don't like walkers, but I have one at home because I don't want to fall when I'm by myself. My daughter bought me the Cadillac version of the walkers. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I love you, and can we do a mantra together? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we're going to do the astral mantra, which is soothing for the emotions and harmonizing and making you open for the message, and it is from the astral level. And it's ka la We're going to do that six times, okay? All together, you take three, put your hands together, clasp three thumbs together, and put your feet on the floor. It makes a channel for the energy, okay? And then we take three deep breaths, we're very slowly. We shall begin. Ka
the complete, a complete recording where Omnix shares the transformation of the Earth information that she has been talking about sharing for years. She was one of the first ones who talked about this transformation process at all in the beginning, in the, in the, in the end of the 90s. And this whole lecture goes one and a half hours. It's with my German translation. So I'm sitting next to her. You will only see me in this little excerpt. This excerpt is just one or two minutes um, in the very, very last second. And if you are interested in this complete information, the complete video, it's on my, on my YouTube channel. It's Venus Spirit on YouTube. And there you just have to type in Omnic and Anja in Berlin 2003, and you will find it. And I can only um, recommend you to, to watch the whole thing because it is really perfect. The time when Omnic shared this story in these years, it was really, it was just a beautiful sharing of this whole complete transformation information. Yeah. strengthen my legs, I did 1,000 reps right in one turn. And I thought, wow, I'm really going to be strong. I couldn't stand up the next morning. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't walk. And I, because my muscles were like, oh, but after I slept, and I was like, oh my God, it backfired on me. <laughs> I made the mistake of making it worse. But 
<laughs> it gives the people here a reason to help me. And I love that. I feel your energy. I get to hug you. You get photos. So it's wonderful. And I do want to say the Venusian greeting to you here, okay? It means, may the universal love and blessings be. Amul Abatu Baraka Mishak. <laughs> it's in my book, you can find it. <laughs> that way guiding you, okay? Good night. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay?